to have the surgery, Mom. Yeah. She uh, goes, because even if you have a fat body, you're still perfect. <laughs> oh, God. I said, oh, my God. Yeah, see? I said, she that's cool. Why do you say these things and then you're so bad sometimes? <laughs> so this is the emotional part for me. Um, as you guys have probably figured out, um, my wife and I are doing this journey 100% together. And uh, she's just been prepped. She's going to be sleeved today. Um, she's been prepped. They just took her back for surgery now. So this becomes the hardest part for me because, and the emotional part is, you know, um, there's worry, you know, with anything. But I know the outcome of this is going to be something, you know, pretty magical. So um, we got about an hour and a half. She's in good hands with Dr. Carlin. And uh, we'll see her again when she gets out of surgery. So the doctor just came out and spoke with uh, Amy's mother and I, said that she did absolutely wonderful, did great, surgery went uh, fantastic. Um, she's currently in recovery right now, so we gotta give a little bit of time. Uh, they'll get her into her room, and then we'll be able to uh, go and see her. Um, but they did something pretty cool. They did, uh, I'll show this real quick. They did print out some pictures of her stomach, so very, very cool. So one step closer to getting uh, more quality of life back for, for both of us, and I'll be right on the same path a month later. What's the next morning? Uh, Amy didn't sleep <laughs> good at all. She's pumped with a lot of meds and everything, and having some nausea. I tried to hold stuff down, um, you know, getting through her water intake. Um, she's doing great on getting up and, and doing the walking. Um, that's not a problem at all. Um, there's, you know, and I know she feels a little bit defeated right now. She just went through major surgery so I'm um, just trying to make her you know stay positive and let her know that what's going on right now is uh, obviously only temporary and uh, you know we'll get we'll get through whatever uh, whatever's going on and, and um, make sure that uh, you know we continue down the path that um, both of us you know so desperately want to achieve so we're, we're getting there. It's just, uh, you know, it's a little rough for her this morning, so we'll, we'll get her through it. So last night, Amy told me to go home and sleep in our own bed. Plus, I stopped by Grandma's house to, you know, kind of put the kids to bed there and and uh, make sure that, you know, they they got to bed with not giving Grandma any problems. Um, Amy wanted me to sleep in our own bed. The bed that they have there, the couch, that little chair that pulls out to a bed is very uncomfortable. Um, so she said, "Go, you know, I'll be fine. Go home." Um, she's still having a hard time retaining fluids, hopefully overnight and through this morning. 
um, you know, she's got that up enough for the doctor to take a look at everything and then speak with the nurses to um, discharge her today for her to come home. So they don't want to send her home, obviously, um, not getting enough fluids in because uh, she'll just get dehydrated and we'll be right back at the same spots. So I'm on my way back to the hospital, hopefully to pick her up and uh, for us to come home. However, she did want me to stop at a uh, convenience store and pick up a, try to see if they have a pill bottle because there's going to be a whole lot of pills that she's going to be having to take. So let's go see if we can find one. So we're home. Amy did uh, much, much better through the night and through this morning. Uh, doctor came and seen her and said, you're doing good. I'm going to discharge you. You're going to get to go home now. So went and picked her up from the hospital, brought her home. Um, she's getting her first shower since, you know, surgery. So I'm going to go ahead and get this video edited and get it up on the uh, YouTube channel for you guys and uh, more to come. You know, we'll be continuing to, it's not only my journey now, it's both of our journeys and we'll be documenting it as much as possible and sharing it with each and every one of you. So thank you so much for, for tuning in. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you are not a subscriber, please hit the su subscribe button so that you'll get uh, additional content as my wife and I and the family um, bring it out to you guys. As I always say, stop making life your excuse, make life your reason. Thank you.